here we are. I made it to Marrakesh. I just got off the plane. I finally took up my little like mini buns, my little overnight look. Um, and here we are. So we are ready to get this weekend started. I'm just waiting for my friend because her flight is about like 30 minutes behind me. So just freshened up, grab some water, relaxing, and then we're gonna head out and start our weekend trip. And if it's your first time seeing my face, hi, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Malika, I am a travel content creator. I post a lot of stuff about moving abroad, traveling around the world. I've previously lived in two different countries. I lived in Italy for a while and I live in Lebanon and I travel a ton. So if you're into that kind of content and you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you check out some of my other videos and playlists and you see something that might be helpful to you or someone else you know who might want to move abroad, go ahead and share some of those videos as well. But for now, we're going to get this party started. here at the beautiful Riyadh Star. It's so gorgeous. Um, we just kind of spent some time relaxing in the room a little bit, taking some pictures around the property, and now we're getting ready to have a delicious tagine dinner on the roof just in time for sunset. Um, I'm of course going to show you guys some scenery, some of the views, but yeah, it's really, really peaceful here. Um, and getting into these Riyadh, it's just like a world of difference from what you see outside in the Medina, because once you come in, it's just like an oasis of like calmness and tranquility versus like how crazy and hectic it is outside. So definitely it's my first time staying in a Riyadh. Last time I was in Morocco, I stayed with friends. I actually couch surfed, which could be a whole different story about like adventures in couch surfing in the like pre Instagram travel, even like really pre Airbnb days. Um, so yeah, so let me know if you want a video about that. But this is my first time staying in an actual Riyadh here. Super pretty, super charming. Um, and I really want to thank Riyadh Star for hosting me for this day. I'm just so excited that they decided to partner with me to make this dream trip come true. So it's our second day in Marrakesh and it's our actual first like full day. So we're kind of planning out the itinerary. Um, first things first, obviously breakfast. Um, and then I booked a photo shoot on Airbnb. I'll leave a link, but it's one of these like really great Airbnb um, photo shoot experiences in the souk so I can make sure I get my shots. Um, and I think after that, we're gonna hang out at this gorgeous pool at the Riyadh, and then maybe just kind of bop around, get lunch and figure it out. So I'm really looking forward to this day. And of course, um, you guys are coming with, so let's go.
Okay, so we are about to go to this place, Dar Dar Rooftop, and have a nice little long boozy lunch. If you are looking for places to have lunch with cocktails in Marrakesh, you have to dig a little bit because not everywhere will serve alcohol, but I found the spot. So we're gonna go hit this rooftop. And then after that, we're gonna go do a walking, shopping tour of the souk. Um, I just think when you're two girls, it's always best to go out with a guide. They can just kind of show you around, keep you from getting haggled too much or harassed too much. So it just makes the trip a lot more um, fun and enjoyable, but for now we're starving and we need cocktails, so let's go. So our guide took us to a really cool part of the souk where you can actually watch people work and like make handmade goods. So we saw blacksmiths, we're seeing people make like little plaster tiles and stuff. Really, really cool. Um, and one of the perks of going with the guy is that they can help kind of like negotiate for you, ask permission for photos, because remember you should always ask permission before you take pictures of people and just kind of see a lot of like really cool stuff. So check out this tile, guys. So now we just stopped in to relax a little bit, have some tea, and we're checking out this carpet shop. Um, and it's pretty cool because it's a beautiful old building and all the car carpets are made from a cooperative group of women. So there's about 280 women that come together and make these amazing handmade carpets, all kinds of different styles, different quality. Um, they are all kind of on the higher end. It's definitely like a higher end store and they are all handmade and it's all supporting female entrepreneurs. So good you know use of your funds but if you're coming in here to shop like um from what we've seen the cheaper rugs are like 250 to 300 and then they can go up to like 2000 for like a really big royal style statement rug so you know not going to be a cheap purchase but some of the bigger really expensive ones do include shipping um but you know if you like to bargain and you want to check something out and you came ready to like splurge and get something amazing for your house Definitely have fun. Okay, so it's day two in Marrakesh, and right now we are in Jardin Marjorelle, and then after that, we're gonna go do a tour of Bahia Palace, and then after that, we are going to do something I'm very excited about, which is go get a massage that is 100% much needed after all this travel. Um, so right now, we're gonna go take a look around the garden, and then try to stop in the cafe, and of course, the YSL Museum, and maybe do some shopping. So that's the game plan for today, let's go. this whole trip has been pretty crazy. Um, Marrakesh is just a really intense city, so we decided that it's time to like schedule some relaxation time. So we are heading right now into La Memunia. It's the super famous Insta Hotel. I know you guys have seen it. Um, we have spa appointments, so we're gonna kind of hang out here and relax, have lunch, have some drinks, um, and just kind of like vibe out before we head back into the craziness of the Medina. Um, fair warning, I have to leave my camera here. They do not allow professional photography equipment inside if you are not a guest. Um, they have lockers for people coming in just for the day. So I'm gonna say goodbye to the professional camera, unfortunately, um, but I'll try to get some snaps on my phone of whatever looks good inside. Um, and then there'll be more content on Reels just because it'll be more of my kind of quick snippets and cell phone stuff. Um, and if you think you are planning to come here just for photos and do a little photo shoot, fear warning, you probably will not be allowed to. Um, but anyway, I'll do the best I can, but we're gonna go relax and I'll catch you guys later.
So the next morning, I took the train to Casablanca from Marrakesh to continue my trip with my husband and some of our other friends. I didn't know what to expect from the train in Morocco, but it was a clean and safe ride. Tickets are inexpensive, so I opted for first class, and it was worth it. The trip was about three hours, and there isn't really any snack service, so be prepared for that. But once in Casablanca, we immediately went shopping because I didn't get a rug in Marrakesh, and I really, really wanted one. The suit here was far less touristy and way cheaper than Marrakesh, and I was able to get an 8x10 rug and two poofs, and we ended up having to wrap them up and lug them home, but it was totally fine and only cost like 250 bucks. After that, we explored the Hassan Mosque, which is one of the largest in the world and is absolutely stunning. Also, be sure to hit Rick's Cafe, the place inspired by the movie Casablanca, even though it's actually started by two Americans, so it's not at all authentic. And then we ended up at dinner with a striking sunset view right on the ocean. Okay, so we are at Le Cabestan restaurant in Casablanca. It was a really nice day, and we decided to end it at this, like, epic restaurant on the water. I'm actually filming in the bathroom, which I know it sounds weird, but this is actually one of the prettiest bathrooms I have ever seen in my life. So I will show you the view in a second. Um, but I just wanted to come on really quickly and wrap up this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it and you like my content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It really does help my growth, especially as a very small new YouTuber. Um, also go ahead and check me out on Instagram and on TikTok. Check out some of my other videos, especially the ones you find helpful and that might help other people, those who want to travel more and live abroad. Thank you so much for being part of my journey and I will catch you in the next video.